Choosing the right putter these days can be pretty complicated. As we've covered in Golf Digest, there are so many new models and head shapes to choose from that it can be kind of confusing. That's why putter fitting has become such a big part of the purchasing process. But aside from the typical things that you would normally get fitted for in a putter, there are a couple of more things that you should consider. First of all, think about the way you typically miss your putts. If you usually miss to the left, you should think about getting one of these big mallet putters, like this Odyssey White Ice Sabertooth. Now the big mallet putters have a very high moment of inertia, which means they redu reduce the twisting. Now, basically, if you're missing to the left and you can't really turn the putter over through impact, you're going to see straighter putts. On the other hand, if you typically miss to the right, then you may want to consider going with a blade putter, especially a heel shafted version like this, Wilson 8882. A blade putter has a much lower moment of inertia, and for that reason, it's easier to turn over through impact. So rather than leaving the putt out to the right, you're actually going to get it back toward the hole. Now the other thing you could think about is what type of greens you typically play on. If the greens on your home course are very soft and slow, you may want to consider going with a putter that has more loft, because the depression that the ball sits in on the green is going to be deeper on a soft green and you're going to need some loft to help lift the ball out of that depression so they can start rolling faster. Conversely, if your greens are fast and firm, you want to go with a putter with less loft because there the ball is going to sit in less of a depression and if you have a lot of loft on the putter, you're actually going to lift the ball up off the ground. It's going to have backspin and skid a lot before it starts rolling forward and then it may skid offline. Now these tips can really help your putting and your score. So keep them in mind the next time you go to buy a new putter.